Hello everyone, this is Rishida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on applying group by function on multi index data frame. I have another video on group by function that is very detailed. Uh, I have the link in the description box below. Please feel free to check if you have it already. And uh, today I'm going to focus on only multi index data frame because it's a little bit different, uh, different, just a little bit different. And I thought it's worth checking out. Okay, so let's import pandas as pd. Let's make the data frame pd dot read csv students performance dot csv. I have the link of this data set as well in the description box below please feel free to download and follow along okay look at this data set it shows some math reading and writing score of students and lots of other parameters like gender race ethnicity parental level of education lunch test preparation course so data set is not too big uh, so it's going to be good for this tutorial and look at it it doesn't have an index and our today's video is on multi-index data frame, right? So we have to make this data frame as multi-index data frame. So let's do df columns so that I can copy and paste the column names. df.set index. Okay, I'm going to make a multi-index data frame. So I will set all of this. Okay and then gender okay df1 dot head so here it is i made the data frame as a multi-index data frame and we have one two three four five five level of index and we have three columns math score reading score and writing score okay so first, let's start with df1 dot group by. Okay, I want to group by one uh, race and ethnicity. Okay, so when you have multi, when you have a multi-index data frame, you need to mention the level, which level it is. So here the level, this is level zero, level one, two, three, four. So race and race and ethnicity is zero. So I'm grouping by race and ethnicity. And I am using mean as the aggregate function. Okay. So look at it. Grouped by level zero or race ethnicity, and I use the aggregate function as mean. Okay. So race ethnicity, we have A, B, C, D, E, and here 61.6 .6 is the mean math score of group A students. Group A and B is the mean math score of group uh, B, B students, okay? Now here I used only one level uh, in group by. I can use several index, several group by, uh, several levels. So level, in that case, I have to make a list. So this time I want to uh, group by race ethnicity and gender okay and race ethnicity is level zero and the gender is zero one two three four is that gender is four and mean here it is okay so group a female students mean math score is 58.5 and group A male math students math score is 63.7. Uh, That's the mean, mean math score of group A male, male student. Okay. Now, look here, instead, instead of putting the zero, the level number, you can explicitly type the name of the index okay race ethnicity and instead of four it was gender right 
here is so exactly the same thing well if you want you can put several aggregate function not only mean in that case put aggregate and make a list of the aggregate functions i am putting mean and median here it is math score reading score writing score and we have mean and median of, of each of them the group a female students mean score 58 and median is 57 okay group a uh, male students mean score is 63.7 and median was 63 so it's kind of normal distribution okay now here i have math reading and writing i mean we have only three columns and it includes all three columns because i didn't mention any columns if i want it i could mention the column names group by uh, race ethnicity and gender i'll just copy and paste so i don't have to type and if i want to uh put a column I mean, I don't want all the column, okay? I want only math, math score, or math and writing score, okay? Math and writing score, dot aggregate, and, sorry, I have to make a list of it. Here is already the list, I'll just grab it from here. Look at it, so I just, have the data that i need i only wanted math and writing score all right now here math and writing score on both the columns i use the same aggregate function mean and median mean and median i can use the different aggregate functions as well okay df1 dot group by and level uh, this time i will include these two and let's check what else we have look we have other we have so many we have total of five level i want to include one more okay parental level of education instead of two i'm going to use three this time well and Math and writing score. I'll just copy and paste from here. Math and writing score. Okay. Dot aggregate. Well, now uh, when I want to use different aggregate function on different column, I have to use a dictionary. Okay. But the key is the name of the column. So name of the column is math score, and value is going to be the uh, aggregate functions so i want same mean and median for the math score and for writing score i would want different mean max and standard deviation all right here it is look i have three levels this time because I grouped by using three different levels, three different levels. So race, ethnicity, parental level of education, and gender. And then uh, on math score, I used mean and median. On writing score, I used mean, max, and standard deviation. Mean, max, and standard deviation. So here it is. So that's pretty big. That's all I wanted to share today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you soon.